Hey everybody and welcome back to a new extreme deep clean with me. I am so excited to be bringing you guys some ultimate cleaning motivation here in today's video. We are going to be doing a ton of spring cleaning, kind of a spring refresh as well. We're going to be decorating for spring and yeah, I'm really excited about all the cleaning and decorating happening in today's video. So buckle up and get ready for some ultimate cleaning motivation. We are starting off here in the kitchen. We have some dishes to get done and just some everyday cleaning up before we get into the really, really good deep cleaning. As you saw in the intro, we are going to be going downstairs today and tackling that really, really bad shower. There is some insane before and after transformations, so make sure that you stay tuned for that again later on in the video. We're also going to be decorating for spring. I'm keeping things super simple and minimal as always when it comes to my spring decor, but I wanted to do a little something something and I'm also going to be sharing my tablescape for spring. So. Again, stay tuned for that a little bit later in the video, but for now, I love if you went ahead and got up and cleaned along with me. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being here. And if you are new here, welcome. My name is Brianne and here on my channel, you're gonna find a lot of cleaning and homemaking motivation, lots of lifestyle content. I do share the odd home DIY project and also some organization, which there's actually a little bit of everything in today's video. I should have called this like a get it all done as we are cleaning, decorating, organizing, and also deep cleaning for spring. So we got it all in today's video, but if that is the type of content that you enjoy, make sure that you hit that red subscribe button to join our growing YouTube family and also give this video a thumbs up. And if you are new here, go ahead and let me know down below where you are from. I love getting to know you guys and I do respond to every single comment. Tell me what is really on your mind. You know you're already accepted. To me you're always picture perfect. You think you're gonna be rejected. Just say you're in love cause so So I will also be sharing a spring cleaning marathon coming up on my channel, which I'm really excited to share with you guys. So stay tuned for that here on my channel. But now we're gonna go ahead and just get into some decor. So this bunny dish, I actually don't even know where it is from. I got it years ago. And so I just swapped out my silver one that I had there. And then I'm going to put these fake flowers into a vase here on my countertop. But I wanted to add some water into the vase so that it looked a little bit more realistic. And then I also have these chalk couture tags, which I really, really love. I don't really have a spring theme. I just like bold, bright colors when it comes to spring. Let me know down below if you like more of a neutral when it comes to spring and Easter decor or like what you kind of prefer. But like I said, we're keeping it very minimal. My house is really small and so I don't like to have a lot on my countertops and so that's what we're doing in the kitchen for decor. And now we're heading outside to my yard and I'm gonna grab some of these bushes and stuff for my tablescape. Yeah, we were happy at the time Can't remember what it 
it felt like we used to be so strong that picture perfect sky now and look so gray and cold we've been playing here since 4 a.m and you haven't said a word to me mm. silent treatment is this what it feels like when your heart is Stuck out in the rain, but we danced around and didn't mind it. So young and reckless, baby, you and I fit just like a glove. But I guess that's over now. We've been playing here since 4 a.m. and you haven't said a word to me. So there is quite a few things that I would change about the tablescape, but overall I'm happy that, you know, it turned out okay with what I had. So I would want to put a table runner underneath, but I can't find one anywhere. Like I find it so hard to find things, you guys. And so I kind of got sick of waiting and I just decided to put it together with what I had. So that's what you get. I also would love to put tulips in the centerpiece as well, as I just love tulips. They're honestly one of my favorite flowers in the springtime. Let me know down below if you have a favorite flower um, when it comes to spring. So then these bunnies and eggs are actually from Chalk Couture as well. I love Chalk Couture. My mom actually does it and so she gets all of this decor for me all the time. And then it was time to just refresh my kitchen towels. We had, you'll see them in a second here, the red and white ones, and they were so dungy. So it was time to get rid of them. I'm going to use them as some cleaning cloths. And so we're going to go ahead and just reorganize this drawer here really quickly. I'm taking everything out. I'm going to vacuum it in here and just, again, go through, resort all of the towels, and then go ahead and put the new ones in. The new ones are from Costco. They are the brand KitchenAid. And if I can find them online, I will link them down below. We could move on. I'm sorry for making you feel like you're not good enough Cause you're the best, you know I'm sorry for making you feel like you're not good enough Give me a chance, yeah baby try, try, try Just one more night, then make up your mind, mind, mind Please don't say So we are just finishing vacuuming up here in the kitchen and then I'm also going to whip out my mop and also mop my kitchen before we move on to day two where we tackle the basement and we do a lot of deep cleaning down in that bathroom. So I have been wanting to do this for about a month now 
and I'm not gonna lie it did take me a really long time which is why I split this up into two days but I hope that you guys are getting lots of cleaning motivation in today's video we are gonna go ahead and clean my trash can lid as well here it was really really bad as you can see and this is something that I do like to do weekly but sometimes it doesn't always get done weekly and it's more so bi-weekly but I could not handle another second of this so I just did it really really quick here in the kitchen before we mopped the floor. You feel like you're not good enough I'm sorry for making you feel like you're not good enough Give me a chance change the way I love it. Maybe if I try to fix this heart, then I could have stayed the night. I could have called you mine. If I change the All right, friends, we are hopping into day two and jumping downstairs to clean this bathroom. I'm also going to be cleaning my makeup brushes as well as my staircase, which was full of dog hair. So stay tuned for some more motivation. I know that's what you came here for and you are sure to get it. So I'm just starting off with cleaning the mirror and then the sink area and then I will get into that shower. Oh my gosh, wait for the transformation. It is insane. And I'm so excited to share the before and after with you guys.
never thought they would do such harm You got so many reasons spinning in your head That's why you left mm. Indispensable pain in your chest Leave us for the best or you would break That is why you left without a text Okay, so while that is sitting, I'm gonna let it sit for a solid 10 minutes. I'm gonna clean the rest of the bathroom. I'm gonna vacuum in here. Then we're gonna get back and do the shower. So stay tuned for that. It's gonna be pretty nasty. So I have cleaned the shower with Lysol one time before and it is really really good at getting like the mold and stuff off seamlessly if you let it sit. So that's why I did that. I will see if I can link that other video that I did before. It was like two years ago and yeah it was really really bad. I know it's bad now but you should see what it was like in that video back there. Anyway. I digress. If you're wondering what I sprayed the glass shower door with, it was just vinegar and blue Dawn power wash. So we're also going to let that sit while again I do the rest of the bathroom here.
So if you've been here for a while, you know that I absolutely love my Velita mop. I love this thing. I use it obviously on my floors, but I also use it to like reach hard to reach areas or when I'm doing like the shower or things like that. I honestly love this thing. It's definitely not as back breaking, but as you can see, it wasn't doing what I kind of wanted it to. So we're going to go ahead and just finish up doing this. And then I actually am going to whip out my Bissell steam mop really, really soon here. And yeah, wait until you see the transformation. I don't even think I had to use chemicals in this shower. I mean, you can see that it did do a little bit, but we're going to whip out this bad boy and see what happens. Okay guys, it's really hard to get an angle in here with the Bissell steam shot, so I'm gonna go ahead and just do it and I'll show you before and afters. You guys, this was so gross yet again. And then you can see the wall here, kind of how it's yellowy and then it's like scraping off. So this was using my Bissell steam cleaner and like the scraper attachment. This honestly took me a few hours to do, but wait until you see the before and after. It was so worth it. I couldn't stop doing it. It was like so disgustingly satisfying. Isn't that before and after transformation insane, you guys? Oh my gosh, I can't even believe how bad it was. Here's a hot tip for you too. When you're doing your faucets and stuff, you can obviously like clean it normally and then to polish it up, use Windex or like a window cleaner and it makes it look so shiny. So that's kind of what I did there. Now it's time to tackle the rest of the basement here. I'm going to tidy up. We're gonna vacuum down here. I'm gonna clean my makeup brushes. And we're also going to be tackling the staircase, which was also really bad and needed to be done. So lots of cleaning motivation to come. I know there has already been so much. And if you are enjoying today's video and you haven't already subscribed, you're clearly enjoying it because you're still here. So go ahead and hit that red subscribe button to join our growing YouTube family. And also while you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot as a small creator. And on top of that, it lets me know that you guys really like seeing these disgustingly satisfying transformations. And so go ahead and do that for me. Now I'm gonna go ahead and let the music play for a little bit here while I vacuum.
So I'm just going ahead and cleaning my makeup brushes here using this Mary Kay like soap bar. You can just use dish soap if you want, but I'm allergic to dish soap, so I can't do that. But look at this after. My makeup brushes needed to be cleaned so bad, and I am so happy that I got that done. Moving on, we're going to go ahead and tackle the staircase. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I truly, truly appreciate you and being here with me up until the end. Your support truly, truly means the world to me. So thank you. That is all I have for you guys today. We will see you in my next one. Bye.